south. Got a 1250 gallon tank, got our pipes, drawing it in right over here. with our our plumbing is going to come through underneath the footing right there we're going to come out go over there about 10 feet so it's 10 feet away from the house and we're going to dig in the septic tank
we would compact the bottom of this where the septic hole is where the tank's sitting and we just have an inspector that likes to see those things perfectly level so once you fill it up with water which is what you have to do before he comes then it, it sometimes it'll settle on one end if it's a little bit loose so we just pack it in there just for the heck of it just make him happy so anyway we're putting that in here what you do is you come over here you set your pipe like that and get your two percent slope on it you just hang it out past the edge of your hull and then you can measure from here from right here to the bottom of your where your tank is going to sit and then you measure off of your tank that way this when you're digging your hole you measure from right here down to the bottom so when you measure your tank then you've got your depth just right you have your slope on your pipe and it comes right into the tank so that's why that's why you hang your pipe out past just so you can measure off of it and make sure your slope's good T on there. It's kind of a long. Put it down here where you can see it. That's what it looks like. It goes inside the. Goes inside there just like that. Goes underneath there and connects to that pipe. That way it can get air on the top right here. This is where my fingers are air can get in right there and then the water just comes down to the bottom of it comes in underneath because what happens is a big old pile of sludge builds up on the top and this allows it to go underneath where those the turds and the tissue won't sit there and plug this hole on this pipe I'll see if I can explain this okay so this is the inlet this is the sewer coming in from in into the tank from the house so it comes in here, drops down to right here, and then the turds float back up, and then they just sit right around this area. So the methane sits there and breaks this stuff down, and then it slowly dissipates and settles to the bottom of your tank. And so after 10 or 12 years, you gotta suck it out, and it's because of all these tissues and whatever else got flushed down the toilet that wouldn't dissolve very good they settle to the bottom it takes a long time for it to build back up but it'll slowly build back up inside the bottom of the tank and then you have to get it sucked out so this side the outlet is only getting water so technically it's about that much lower 
so the inlet comes in right here this side's a little bit lower so this this particular system starts to suck just the clean water out here and drain it out so you just got the the sludge is still right in here and this just pulls up clean water and runs down the runs out into the distribution box and then down into your leach field not sure why they do this but they always have these little couplings that this is this is regular sewer pipe size and these inlets and outlets always have a different size so you have to put that in there usually a septic tank will come with it and then it can connect to a regular sewer pipe This is our distribution box, and if you look at these, there's a, this one right here is higher than this one by about an inch and a half. So this is your inlet. So it comes in right here. So from the house, it comes in here on the highest one. And then what happens is the, the water comes in here, the sewer comes in here, after the it, this is just water mostly because the the tank are sifted it out of there so it comes in right here and then it comes down to the bottom fills this up and this is sitting level so it evenly distribute distributes it out different pipes for your different leach fields so this sits right there distribution box and then it evenly distributes it between your leach fields because we're gonna have two leach lines here we got this one we got that one right there and then it's gonna run over to that one Okay, so we got the, this is the inlet, and these others are just barely lower. This is just a cap, because I only have two leach fields, leach lines. So I just capped this one off, and then the sewer will run down these other two. So this one will run straight over to that one. And this other one will just come over and 90 over to that one. So if you run your pipes in first from your tank before you dig your leach field, what it does is makes it so that you can establish. So we got our slope on the on the whole system clear over to our distribution box, and then we but we haven't dug our leach field yet. And the reason why is because we can run our pipes over, make sure they got the slope, and then we know exactly how deep to deep dig it so that we don't dig a ditch deeper than we need to dig it. So that's why we're doing all the piping before we even dig the leach field. Is on top of there and put a 
fabric on it and then bury it the rest of the way up. So we got our distribution box built that uh, the far elbow goes into the one leech, leech line and this one goes into the other leech line. Under the slab, under the footing, I mean, right there. And then the plumber can take it. I don't usually run it under the footing, I mean, the plumber did it this time we did it. Just because I was trying to keep these as high as I could. So I just dug, in, dug to the bottom of that footing. us to do one riser so we did it on the outlet side because it's more critical than this side we just capped this one and then our distribution box has to have a riser as well so that's what these are these are going to go right over the distribution box right there there's the lid to it so we'll get that installed cap the end of this pipe that pipe that's sticking up vertical there that thing's just sitting there it's not that's not how that's gonna be it's gonna have one of these white caps on the end of it and then we'll do that other field and we'll be done be back fill it digging for our GoPro because we dumped it off in the dirt. After we searched around for about an hour in the dirt to find the GoPro, it ended up landing right here on the track hill. That's where we found it. So I guess when it was on the rebar, it tipped over and hit the edge of the bucket right here and must have somehow just flipped it in there. We dug and dug and dug. We moved about 10 yards of dirt. Got the pipe shaded with a few inches of gravel. 
and put the weed stop down. Fabric, cover up the pipe. Got our weed stop down. Now we can just bury it with dirt. Cover, keep this stuff, keeps the dirt trickling through your gravel and clogging off your leach field. box lid it has to be within six inches of the surface according to the code so it's all buried up here's the tank here's the manhole lid to it the plumber cut off our our uh, clean out and stuffed his little Thing that plugs off the sewer line so he slides that down there and plugs it off so that he can water test his his system so anyway that septic is all done up except for this one little spot right here the inspector asked us to leave the very end of our trench open so he could verify that we did the fabric and the pipe clear to the end so we left those two in there, left them open so he can see it, he'll inspect it, and we'll bury the rest of it up. Other than that, it's totally done. <laughs>